So that's one of the more common questions I get when I show my sawmill bands. These saw blades are 25 foot, 10 inches long. And I'll show you how I coil one first and then we'll do an uncoiling. So the first thing I'll do is I'll set the blade up so the teeth are pointing up. That way when I'm done with the coil, the teeth will be down towards the ground. With the blade resting at my waist, I'll grab as wide as I can on the blade. Now while pressing the opposite end of the blade into the ground, I'll cross my arms and rotate my wrist as I'm walking towards it to cause the blade to curl up. And one of the nice things about these big blades is they almost do this by themselves. But the coil is created, you can just kind of adjust things so that things are even and look nice and you're on your way. So first I'll take a look through my coils to get my orientation correct. I'm looking for the spot where if I flop a coil down onto the ground, I'll have an X on the far side and a straight area next to the coil. And then from there, it's just a matter of undoing the coil, sort of the inverse of coiling it. So that is coiling and uncoiling one of my sawmill blades. I find these to be quite a bit easier than like a normal indoor bandsaw type blade. 